Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Now, last Friday, I watched with joy as the Confederate flag was removed from the Capitol grounds in South Carolina. Now, actually calling it the Confederate flag is, is inaccurate. That flag never, never represented the Confederate States. Calling it the Confeder Confederate battle flag is inaccurate. It was one of several flags carried into battle by Confederate troops. It wasn't the only one. It was, however, the flag that Robert E. Lee's regiment uh, used. If you want to accurately say what the flag is, it's the flag of the Ku Klux Klan. It was adopted as their emblem in 1948. It is the flag of resistance to civil rights and equality. That is its main role in American history. And having the flag of the Klan flying anywhere on state or federal government property is just not acceptable. So though it was a cause for celebration to have that flag removed from the Capitol grounds in South Carolina, it is just a first step. And other southern states are, are taking steps to remove the flag from their government property and from specialty license plates. And they should be commended for doing so. But there is a long way to go. For example, at the State House in Tennessee, there is a bust of Nathan Bedford, the first Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. That needs to come down. The Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama, is named after a Ku Klux Klan leader there. That name needs to be changed. And there are a lot of streets in the South named after John C. Calhoun, who defended slavery as a positive good. Now, I don't expect the South to stop commemorating Confederate soldiers or to forget about Jefferson Davis and Robert E. Lee and other leaders of the Confederacy. It is not inappropriate to memorialize those soldiers and some of those people. They should, however, admit that the Civil War was fought to preserve slavery, period. The idea that it was about states' rights is pure bullshit. The historic record is clear. The statements by the leaders of the Confederacy are clear. And nobody mentioned states' rights until years after the Civil War had ended. This is a part of revisionist history that includes things like calling the Civil War the War of Northern Aggression. The fact is that the South fired the first shots. Now, Confederate flags will still fly all across the South and in other states of the Union on private property. And the people who wish to do, have that flag on their property have a right for that, to do that. And I would stand against anyone who would try to ban it. It's part of freedom of speech, our First Amendment rights. We don't ban symbols like that from private individuals. And, by, and after all, it is a good way of knowing where the racists are. Thanks for listening.